Hi guys, the computers today are much more advanced than they were 20 years ago. These are computers based on binary but with the coming of quantum computers, these binary computers will be left far, far behind. Currently, there are many approaches to develop quantum computers. Now, what is a quantum computer? Watch this introductory video till the end. But before we continue, please subscribe. Click the bell. Like. Share. And put your nice comments below. In 1936, Alan Turing presented the notion of a universal machine, later called the Turing machine, which can compute anything that is computable. By the way, the Turing machine is a subject in the course automata theory. The evolution of modern computers started with large computers. One computer could take an entire room. The early personal computer in the 80s used floppy disks 5 and a quarter inch with a capacity of 360 kilobytes as an external memory. It was then followed by the 3 and a half inch disk with a capacity of 1.44 megabytes. Usually, the current computers we call, well, computers. What else? But now, with the coming of quantum computers, we have to call the current computers as classic or binary computers. Binary computers are based on binary. Obvious, right? The binary is a two-number system, zero or one. False or true, off or on. This is called bit, which stands for binary digit. One byte is eight bits. Now, consider the electricity switch. On, off. If we put it on, then the power is connected to the light, then the light turns on. If we put it off, then the light is disconnected from the power, the light turns off. Claude Shannon is considered as the father of modern information technology. He published a mathematical theory of communication in 1948 which created the idea that all information could be presented using binary. And yes, information is presented in binary form, using switch. Numbers are presented in 4 bits like this. This is 0. This is 1. This is 2. 3. 4. 5. And so on. This is 14. And this is 15. For 4 bits, the first bit represents 2 to the power 0. That is 1. The second bit represents 2 to the power 1. That is 2. The third bit represents 2 to the power 2. That is 4. The fourth bit represents 2 to the power of 3. That is 8. 1011 in binary is then 1 times 8 plus 0 times 4, plus 1 times 2, plus 1 times 1. That is 11 in decimal. The binary digit 0, 1, 1, 0, is then 0, times 8, plus 1 times 4, plus 1 times 2, plus 0 times 1. That is 6 in decimal. Two binary numbers can be added. For example, the decimal number 5, that is 0, 1, 0, 1, in binary, plus the decimal number 6, that is 0, 1, 1, 0, in binary. The first bit from the right will be 1, the second will be 1, the third will be 0 and carry the 1 to the 4th to make the 4th bit, 1. This gives 1011 in binary, that is 11 in decimal. This addition can be done using the half adder, which consists of two logic gates, namely the XOR logic gate, and the AND logic gate.
Here are the logic gates. The NOT gate gives as output exactly the opposite of the input. The AND gate gives as output 1, if both inputs are 1s, otherwise 0. The OR gate gives as output only 0, if both inputs are 0s, otherwise 1. The NAND gate is the NOT AND gate, which gives as output only 0, if both inputs are 1s, otherwise 1. The NOR gate is the NOT OR gate, which gives as output 1, if both inputs are zeros, otherwise 0. The XOR gate gives as output 1, if the inputs are different. It gives 0 if both inputs are the same. Now, can you make a circuit consisting only of NOT gate, AND gate, AND OR gate? To replace the XOR gate, please write down your answer in the comment below. Letters are represented in the following binary codes. The capital and small letter are represented differently. For example, the word love in binary code is this. Now, a material that allows an electrical current flows is called a conductor. For examples, iron and steel. A material that does not allow electrical current passing through is called an insulator or some called an isolator. For examples, rubber and plastic. A silicon is in a room temperature is an insulator. But in a hot temperature is a conductor. A material or device that can act as both conductor and insulator, depend on the environment, is called semiconductor. The phenomenal semiconductor is the transistor. The transistor was invented by John Bardeen and Walter Bertain in Bell Labs in 1947. Since then electronic products are using transistors and their sizes are getting smaller. Briefly, the transistor works like this. This is in the off position. Here, the transition functions as an insulator. This is in the on position. The transistor functions as a conductor. This is the off position again. In a smartphone, there are about 2 billion transistors. The AMD Epic Chrome processor, produced in 2019, has 39 billion transistors of size 7 to 12 nanometers. The current smallest transistor is claimed to have the size of 1 nanometer, that is smaller than a virus, produced at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, USA. Now guys, that's all for this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about qubit, the principle of quantum computers, and the current developments in quantum computation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.